Maine, a place known for its many lakes, streams, and ponds, its long list of beautiful wildlife, and miles and miles of back road through dense forest without a block of civilization around. Join me as I show you what this great state has to offer. From foraging to fishing and wildlife conservation, we'll do it all. I live my life loving everything nature has to provide here. Stick around and maybe you'll learn a thing or two. At the very least, I hope you enjoy following along. Welcome to Wild Maine. Welcome to Beaver Fever, part two. I'm just gonna blow through the sets today on video. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of talking, just gonna show you what we got or don't got. Um, got a lot of other work I gotta do today, so can't focus too much on recording video, unfortunately. So, take a look, see what we got. Set number one was fired. Water level dropped again, so the beaver probably bumped it with his chest. We've got a partridge back here, side of the road. They're all over this morning. Let's see if I can get them on video. So the water dropped like two feet here. As you can see, nothing in the first one. Drops off enough that I can actually place that down just a little further so if something walks up to check out that cast amount, it'll get So today's been a disaster, 0 for 3 so far. The first trap, the water level dropped, uh, beaver chested the trap, set it off, no go. So reset it, lowered it in the water a little bit, hopefully we'll get something tomorrow as long as, as long as nothing goes crazy. Spot number two, where there's two traps, everything froze over, and the water dropped. So nothing going on there. Cleared out the ice, reset the traps, hopefully it'll, uh, thaw out a bit today. It's 32 degrees now. We're supposed to get into the upper 30s if we're lucky, but I don't think it's supposed to get too much colder. Last night was just brutal. So, at the last spot now, uh, right behind somebody's house, and I uh, see a couple wood ducks down there. It'd be cool to get them on camera, but I doubt that's going to happen, because you know how they are. Well, if you know ducks, you know how they are. They're skittish. As soon as they open the door, they're going to take off. But we'll go see what we got here. I'm not getting my hopes up too much. I bet you the water would almost drop below the trap here too. Actually, they're not wood ducks, they're hooded mcgansers. You can see them there. You got a male with two females, the male's on the right. Got a big white drop. Listen to that wind. It is not nice today. Literally right behind somebody's house. It's important that if you're going to trap near houses that people do not have dogs because dogs love caster. Most animals love caster. Well, there's not a trap there. So, I'd say we got lucky. Take a peek.
We've got a few the past couple of days. Didn't get any video of it because it's so busy, but I'm gonna do better at getting more on video. So we're pulling up the first trap now. Don't know if we'll be able to see anything with the camera. I apologize for that, but we'll take a look and uh, move on to unwind. Nothing there. Water level dropped quite a bit. I've already pulled five out of here, so might be one or two more. Who knows? Could be all out. Side number one, iced up with the trap underneath it. It's supposed to get nasty today, so I'm not even gonna bother clearing out the ice. And there it is, iced up. Nothing there. We pulled a bunch out of here though, so maybe it's just done for this point. We'll give it a couple more days, and if it stops producing, we'll move on to the next spot. Pull these ones. On to the next one. Pulling up to the next spot. I set two new ones here yesterday. I just got permission to trap this. So, hopefully it pays some dividends. Well, looks like we actually might have something here. Let's take a peek. Not only do we have one, we got a big one. So this is actually a really good sign. You see there's a little bit of ice there, but this was probably 60% ice yesterday, this whole little place here. So hopefully that means that we got some action. Maybe we got lucky. See if the new spot can help us make up for the day. Survey says that the new spot is magic. Let's get this pulled up. Another nice front foot catch. Coming up on the last check of the day. Let's see if we can go three for three after starting 0 for 4. Then make a pretty good end of the day. Technically start to the day considering it's only 7.10. The water level's dropped like three feet here since I started trapping this three days ago. That whole peninsula was completely covered over with water and it was up past that tree on the left.
again, nothing today. We got a fun one today. It was just drizzling when I first got out into the truck, but just about to my first site now, and it's uh, raining hard. Raining hard. Luckily, she died down as we're getting to the, the set, so we'll see what we got. Still nothing on that one. And nothing on this one either. But you can see he pulled down the caster. He went right beside the trap. This high water makes it easy for him to miss a trap like that. Or low water, I apologize. But pulled everything right down. You can see where he came in through the slush and the ice. So there's at least one more here. I'll reset and call it good. Got one sitting down there. Well, that was weird. He drove up. I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, but there was a beaver sitting there with his head poking out of the water right at the set. So I figured I got him. No go. Coming up on the last set of this beautiful day. See what we got. Not feeling too optimistic because I've already pulled four out of here. And uh, yesterday there wasn't any sign at all. So we'll see if we got anything. But let's see. Survey says no trap and we got a beaver down in there. Oh boy. Might be the biggest one of the season. That one might go 60. 